Hi, it's Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com. Uh, early December 2013, I'm looking at some bio nematicide radishes. These are called Fuma Rad, and uh, these are uh, marketed by Legacy Seeds throughout North America. It's interesting to look at these radishes. Um, this had uh, no nitrogen added to the uh, nit uh, to the radishes here, which is not what we would normally do. But here in my plots, I did not add any other than where I grew with some peas and grew with some crimson clover. My purpose for showing this video is looking at the uh, tremendous amount of fine root hairs that are off the radish here uh, and how this is such a different radish than the daikon type that we've been used to showing. In fact years ago when I ran some of my very first radish plots I looked at these radishes uh, this type of radish and I thought boy these aren't very good well come to find out these have a tremendous impact in the areas where we would be growing potatoes or sugar beets onions carrots a variety of other crops that uh, have some pretty severe nematode problems so our goal is is to have as many fine root hairs coming off of these tubers as possible the other part of this is is that we would like to have a very uh, good seeding rate on these whereas on the daikon type whether that be groundhog or pile driver or some other types uh, tillage perhaps the idea is is that we would um, go ahead and, and uh, plant maybe two to five pounds per acre and in some instances uh, folks are recommending more than that but on this type here what we're going to be doing Again, we're looking for nematode control. We'd be looking at planting 20 to 25 pounds per acre. The idea is, is that we're going to try to control up to 90 to 95 percent of the nematodes that are causing problems in the potatoes, sugar beets, onions, and so forth. With that being the case, uh, we don't want to reduce our seeding rate because all of these fine roots move to the nematodes. The nematodes don't move to the uh, to the radish root but rather the radish root grows to the nematode then the nematode feeds upon that radish and we end up with a chemical reaction that creates quite a uh, problem for those nematodes in fact it ends up uh, reducing their population dramatically so just wanted to show the differences of radishes and, and uh, the value of different types of radishes and the uses of radishes as well Again, Dave Robison, PlantCoverCrops.com, uh, early December 2013, here at the Robison Ranch in Winona Lake, Indiana, looking at uh, bio-nematicide type radishes.